This is Danica Film for Seconds Out in Manchester. We've just saw Savannah Marshall crowned the new undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. It's a pleasure to be joined by trainer Peter Fury. Peter, a lot of pressure on Savannah tonight, but she got the job done. You must be delighted. I am delighted. I'm delighted for Savannah to put on a good performance and she got the win. Uh, break down the fight for us. It was sort of there was parts where Savannah was boxing really well, really strong jab, and then there was parts that got a bit messy, mainly down to Franchon Cruz Desert. I think that's fair to say. That is fair to say. You know, she's a very, very tough opponent. And this is what she does. She does this with all the opponents. You know, she's a rugged, tough fighter. You know, and it's a shame there's got to be a loser. You know, but it, this is boxing. You know, and uh, but look, you know, it's uh, what can I say? I give her all the accolades there is. Franchin Cruz is a, a phenomenal fighter. Was your heart in your mouth a wee bit when you heard the 95, 95? What were your thoughts on that scorecard? Well, you know, it's, it's only to be expected. She's unified champion, and I said to Savannah, you, you've got to take it. Because if you don't take it, these things can happen. So I expected it. Did I have it majority? No. First four rounds, scrappy. But after then, she started getting the shots off, pulling away with it. So I didn't have it uh, a majority, no. Um, I'm sure it got a bit frustrating in the build-up to this fight. Clarissa Shields' name was mentioned quite a lot. Uh, she was here at the press conference. Things got a, a bit tasty, a bit of back and forth. Uh, as, you, as far as you're concerned, is that the only fight next for Savannah? A rematch with the self-proclaimed GOAT? Yeah, exactly. Let's get it on. Let's get the fight on again. Um, Chris is dead set on that being in the States. Would have any objections to going over there, Detroit maybe? Maybe uh, Clarissa knows I can't get there. That's why she wants it over there. So, maybe. Uh, and just a quick word, April Hunter, bit of a grudge match uh, with Kirsty Bavington. Uh, things got very tasty at the pre-fight press conference for that. So April, I've seen her leaving there. She looks like she's on cloud nine. Tough fight for April uh, again. It was, uh, But, you know, look, April hasn't got a lot of experience. She's hardly had, hardly, not had hardly any amateur fights, a few, and she's had these few pro fights. So she's, uh, she's learning the trade, but she's got the rematch, she's come through that, and uh, yeah, good for uh, April, slowly, steadily improving. Uh, very last one, uh, Hughie's here, uh, everyone's getting very frustrated with the heavy division, he's ready for all the smoke. Uh, when can we expect to see Hughie back in the ring? Hughie's going to be on the end of August, definitely. Peter Fury, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.